It's a fairly grey day outside. Hi travellers, I'm Hens to the Lego. I really just got dressed and I've washed my PJs. I'm going to have my baguette for lunch. I've really been having shakes for breakfast. I really just had one shake a day, which I was expecting to have two shakes. I haven't felt wanting for anything, which is a good thing, because that means that I've got everything. This was the provided meals. Twice I have had the egg because it's boiled and I can have it later in a salad. So that's been good. This was from my first day, I think, and it's still quite hard, even though it's actually sitting under the heat, so I was hoping it would ripen faster. I think I've taken enough footage of the food, because basically I'm only bringing it into this room to film it, because I'm not eating it. Um, I don't like this style of Chinese food. The egg, okay, I've had a couple of eggs this week, so that's been good, but for getting three meals a day provided, taking two eggs out of five <laughs> like it's not worth it and basically because it does smell and you've got to keep it in your room because you can't put the rubbish out like i've got to wake up early to put rubbish out so it is actually kind of a pain so i think i'm not going to bring in if you haven't seen my video on getting me how mobile delivered to the hotel where i'm staying please check that out that's only going to work though if you're allowed to get deliveries I definitely need to ask to get some more water because I'm onto my last big bottle, which is good because that means that in five, well, five and a bit days, I've drunk 14, probably 15 litres of water. If you can do like me and at the very least take some things off the flight, I still have a couple of bags of chips and because I have the big cookie time, I um, haven't been eating the little ones, also because the expiry date is further away on the little ones than this big one. And I think just planning protein, really. Maybe it is the shakes that have been making me feel full. Maybe it's been, you know, having, rather than just rice crackers, having multi grain. Um, obviously, that's not, I've only had one pack of those so far. I think I've only had one tin of tuna so far. I haven't even had any soup yet. These are the new muesli bars that I bought and they were on sale. I think they're even cheaper here than they are in New Zealand because they're a short date life. I have really enjoyed these, which I literally just grabbed off the shelf because I was like, ooh, it's apple flavor. Oddly enough, they haven't even opened my chocolate biscuits. Um, I definitely had my, all my nuts though. I've just got almonds left now and some bananas. This is only part of my food. I still have more for the next one in here, including more shade. It looks like I'm going to be quite fine. Fortunately, my heating is quite good. That's why I'm sitting here in a singlet in the middle of winter. This sealer bag is from the delivery that came. So I'm just really working my way through this, yeah, it's really it's just extra nibbles, bringing a water bottle or a glass. In terms of passing the time, well, like, whatever you do in winter, that's whatever you do inside, it's pretty much the same, um, because this is just a normal work day, a work weekend, then there's not too much happening. I'm definitely editing my video, that's why I'm making a little bit each day, because that gives me something else that I could be doing. I certainly haven't been bored um, at all. I'm sort of over to the side because then this caves in. This is more like a resting space. This is the sleeping space. It would be nicer to have a proper size bed. That would have been, especially for weekends, it's definitely the time. And being that it's the only piece of furniture. And yeah, talking to friends. I'm supposed to be calling my friend Sarah later today, which will be really good. I think I'm very comfortable because I can control the heat and I've got enough for it, really. Like me, we've bought two suitcases, two large check-in suitcases. Pack the one that you're going to open. Like, I legitimately have not opened this one at all. I think there's possibly one thing that maybe I wanted once, but clearly not enough. <laughs> and my carry-on is just kind of sitting there. But packing like one packing cube full of clothing because really what are you going to be wearing? Pajamas and 
pants. Um, yeah, I'm in my CCC pants in a singlet today. So, underwear and, yeah, I've got a pair of socks, a couple of bras, about three tops that I sort of circulate anyway. But be, as I say, because I've been working from home, that's what I've been wearing anyway. So it's not different, but just comfortable clothes. In terms of bottoms, I've got my CCC pants, I've got my merino leggings, and I have another pair of pants. Make sure you've got your... Um, VPN sorted really because the internet's shocking and if you want to be watching YouTube like this while you're in there having downloaded a lot of stuff beforehand in preparation for this time could be really useful for you I mean by the time you take a nap I took a nap yesterday then well suddenly it's dark and the next day is upon you 